We're back with Stacy Demora from Bradley and Lily, and I brought John in for this because we're going to learn how to make some of the beautiful painted handmade cards. They were named Best Letter Press Greeting Cards by Honolulu Magazine's Best of Edition. And without further ado, Stacy, you have the props for us. So we what are do. we going to be doing here? Teacher <laughs> Stacy, what are we painting? Yes, we're going to be painting a palm leaf here. Okay. Palm frond. Okay. So um, by hand? You mean I don't have like a tracer? Or... No. Oh. You're going to use your paintbrush. <laughs> All right, should we get started? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, especially because so, it may take me a lot longer than what we're allotted. Dip your paintbrush in, okay. in the water. All right. Grab a little bit of paint. And do you actually do this, or are you just doing the special brass to show us? Do you give any workshops? I don't give no. workshops. No, okay. But All right, so we just need a special you. thank you. Yes. This All right. is just for us. Yes. Just for you. So you see the art of it. If you look at the palm leaf, this, the, the stem down the middle is really skinny. So okay. you can just make a skinny line. And then let it taper at the end. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, very not. nice. Apparently, I didn't put enough paint on mine. I didn't either. I, I fail funny. immediately. Yours looks nice. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. And, okay, then, the and then you'll start. So grab a little bit more paint, maybe some water in there too. Okay. And then this is the, the fun part. You let the brush do the work. Oh, the brush. Okay. So, so you use a little bit of pressure and then push more and then you lift up okay. to make the. Little individual fronds, oh and then boy. you just keep going. John, what do you yours think? Is nice. No, not yeah. really, but thank you. I appreciate <laughs> yours you. Yours is beautiful. Thank you. Well, it better be. She does this for a living. I know, <laughs> right? Are are your kids artistic too? I imagine you'd they have the coolest are. parents. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bradley has very expressive drawings, and Lily does flowers similar to mine. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fun to watch them. Uh, what is the greatest compliment you've gotten for you know things that? What do you? Enjoy the, about selling cards and putting your heart into doing something, and then seeing people buy it. I love that it's like a functional piece of art, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and people are thoughtful when they're buying it, and they're they're choosing a design for someone that they care for, and they're, they're writing a message on it. I what think that's amazing. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, what are your most popular? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say that mine started to go a little crooked. Yes. It's okay. That's but I, but I see what you're doing. You're working all on one side. You can do whatever you want. It's I guess fun. I could, but may, I thought maybe that might make it better. But maybe that's I'm just making excuses. I'm sorry. I was just going <laughs> to <no, it> <laughs> ask you what are the popular trends and you know what do you see the foil or what are people really into locally here? Um, locally, I think yeah the foil is most popular, but I think we're best known for our letterpress cards. Mm -hmm. So they're, it's super simple, but it's the the texture and it's recycled cotton paper or just recycled paper in general. And then the sort of, you know, timeless and maybe whimsical designs. Mm -hmm. What does it mean uh, for you, uh, and you may have answered this question earlier uh, in, in the previous segment, but what does it mean for you to be named Best Of by Honolulu Magazine? Oh, my gosh. It's such an honor. Yeah? It really is. Um, it's, you know, Honolulu Magazine is known for just design in general, mm -hmm. I think. And um, to be in the Best Of, it's like, wow, it's amazing. Um, how can folks find out a little bit more? Oh, before I ask you that, I want to just ask you what it took to put this together because I see a calligraphy. What is that? A pen? It's pen and ink. Pen and so, ink. it's a, yeah, you dip. But there the are pen and ink. millions of lines. <laughs> yeah. Like how long did it take you to make something like that? A couple weeks. Oh my oh. gosh! See. Look at that. That's amazing, and you see, it, it's therapeutic. Some people say who people color things like that, right? Oh, yes. That's that is awesome. really pretty. Yes. Thank you. What is your favorite art to, to produce? That kind. The pen and ink drawing is yeah. my absolute favorite. Yeah. The intricate stuff. The intricate stuff, and then it usually translates over to letterpress pretty well. Yeah. And what exactly is the letterpress for people who don't know? You hear the terminology. Well, letterpress is like the old school way of printing. So mm -hmm. there's um, a plate, a printing plate, and you just do one color at a time. Usually you have to keep it pretty simple, and then the, the ink is actually pushed into the paper, so it's debossed. Instead of sticking up, it's pushed in. I'm so, t this is not, this is not working. Um, <laughs> I would imagine, I would imagine. We might that, need uh, more time. Yeah, the, the Living 808 class <laughs> is going to need some correction. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Bradley and Lily, thank you so much. Best of Honolulu Magazine, and thanks for coming in and sharing some of your artistic talent with us sure. and hoping it rubs off. This is, this is really cool. Speaking of rubbing off, do you have an eraser? <laughs> not that kind of, not that kind of art. Thank you so much, and Thank congratulations. You. So coming up, we're going to wrap things up and tell you what we have in store for tomorrow. That's when Living 808 returns.